This story has teeth. I'm going to be an oral surgeon, yes. Imagine climbing into the jaw of a shark. I'd just be a snack. I imagine. Good thing it's a replica of a megalodon at Calvert Marie Museum as the sharks went extinct around three and a half million years ago. But new evidence in the fossil record means this mouth gets a new set of teeth. So I'm gonna remove all these teeth, the ones that'll come out with just some pressure, like that one. He left the pin, so then I have to come back and pull this stuff out and clean this up. The jaw came down last week and was moved into a lab at the museum. You guys are amazing. Oh, looks like you got a cavity, son. We're going to have to remove this one. Wish an extraction of my tooth went that quick. We watched as they were plucked out. A new set is nothing like us humans. There are 230 teeth and five rows that will be replaced. In Megalodon, we think that their first row of teeth would have consisted of 46 teeth and likely would have had four to five rows of teeth. So sharks, uh, they're constantly developing and replacing their teeth throughout their life. So any time you look at a modern shark jaw, if you look at from the inside, you'll see these replacement rows of teeth basically forming like a conveyor belt. Back in 1987, a collector found 95 teeth from one shark all together in Polk County, Florida. This is a real tooth of Megalodon that was found locally in Calvert County by our collections manager, John Nance. Dr. Perez, the assistant curator of paleontology at the museum, says one tooth doesn't give great context, so the discovery was significant. If you look at our old model and try to look at the cutting edge, you'll see that the serrations are very faint or, or absent entirely, so you can't really see that fine detail on the older model. Uh, versus on our new model, you can see these very fine, high detailed serrations on the cutting edge of the tooth. The findings weren't published until last year. Now with the scientific community recognizing the fossil evidence, the team at Calvert Marie Museum is chomping at the bit for a new set of teeth. It's like reconstructing a puzzle and actually having all the pieces to put it together. The evidence also confirms their model matches the actual size quite closely. The replica is 37 and a half feet long. If you're intrigued and you want to see that work up close, there's an opportunity to do so. This is the prep lab and the public can stand right here and watch the work that's happening inside that jaw. They'll be hands on Monday through Thursday through about mid February. There's also a shark exhibit comparing fossils to modern day sharks. These historians will update the facts like a good dentist aligns our teeth. It's important that we are showcasing what we know from the fossil record to our public visitors. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.